Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Yes, this is not your formal oh, na, 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 video. No, I'm coming on here to joke y'all. I'm coming on here to talk and just give y'all like a life update. What's going on, what's been going on and you know, giving y'all something to look at and also something to know. So y'all can know, you know, where I've been and whatever like that. Um, Today is January 24th. Oh wait. It's not it's the 26th i'm retarded today january 26th the day after my birthday so yes happy birthday to me thank y'all in advance for y'all happy birthday comments if y'all give me a comment um but i just want to come on here and you know like i said just chat it up with y'all say what's up say what's going on and just give y'all like a backstory and also just life updates so let's dive right into this video i ain't trying to do too many cuts and edits and all of that because it's not giving it i'm just about to get on here and talk and that's what it is so anywho the last thing that you saw from me if you don't follow me on social media as in like if you don't follow me on instagram instagram is at kelsey ray k-e-l-s-e-a ray underscore um on instagram and stuff like that if you don't follow me there you probably don't know but I recently moved to Dallas, Texas. I, I know y'all were so excited for me all in the comments on Instagram. I had got by like at least 300 and something comments worth of like happiness and sadness, but happiness because it was like a bittersweet moment. And on YouTube here, you guys saw me um, move. I showed you guys, you know, the back um, skirts of that and moving to Dallas and like, you know, us being excited to go to Dallas. Um, or whatever like that but um as you may know or don't know and probably know by the title because i'm probably gonna put it in the title we currently move back home yeah we currently move back home and you know for those of you who don't know as far as you know friends and family as well me and chris and cam moved to dallas texas in october we moved back by the time christmas came right so I was pretty much back by Christmas um, and honestly, I didn't want to say, right? So even family members, if they ask me, oh, how long y'all down for and da 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 I would just be like, yeah, I'm down for a few, you know, I'm, I'll be back going back to Dallas this day or I'll be going back next week or whatever I would say because naturally, I'm embarrassed, you know what I mean? Like naturally I was embarrassed, not not now, but I mean, I was embarrassed at the time. And so I just did, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to say, I hope the audio sounds good because I'm not right next to the window. But yeah, like I wasn't ready. I felt like I didn't want to tell nobody. And I had so much high hopes for moving to Dallas and I felt like other people had high hopes for me and was ready to see me do hella good that I just felt like a letdown already. And I didn't even get a chance to I was in, in Dallas for three months, you know what I mean? Like I didn't get a chance to even do what I wanted to do and what I initially said I was gonna do and just the desires of my heart to do in Dallas. And so I didn't tell family members like talking about it. I didn't tell friends. People still to this day are still just now finding out, you know, um, about us moving back home, you know? And that was just the reason. So if you didn't know and you're finding out from this video and you're a family member or you're a close friend or whatever, that's why. As far as, you know, us coming back, you know, I just felt like I didn't give what I was supposed to give. So uh, it was just a lot. And I think that's the main reason why I didn't tell y'all. And then as far as me not being present here on YouTube, like I was last year, Dang, was that last year? Dang, that was that had to been like 2020 that I was like low key consistent, but like I haven't been doing that because I feel like life has just been ups and downs and roller coasters, and I just feel like life got the best of me and I just couldn't keep up. You know what I mean? So me since I haven't been posting and since I let up. I started to get in my own head and say, well, now you ain't posting about this many months. You need to post something good, something this, something that. And so I started getting in my own self, in my own head about what I should post, how I should post it. And now it's drawing me further and further back from posting, if that makes sense. So now you see me asking y'all what y'all want to see with this, with that, because now I'm in my head saying, well, they don't want to see this. Well, they don't want to see that. You know what I mean? So... I think that's what led me to even being even more delayed on posting stuff and just not being on YouTube 
um, because I started making myself have like um, legit like standards of what I should post. So that took place. And then um, I just went in my ear, you know what I mean? Like like I said, life was crazy. Me moving, me trying to do this, me trying to do whatever. It's just crazy. And so now I'm back home and I feel like life is still crazy. I'm talking all, all over the place. Let me double back and um, talk about um, us moving back home and the why. You know, because everybody might want to know, well, why y'all moving back? What took place? What happened? You know, what? why didn't y'all stick it out? So... Long story long, right? Me and Chris decided together we wanted to move to Dallas. We've been saying this for the baby shower when y'all saw that video of us at my cousin Aziz's baby shower. Um, at the baby shower, we, we wanted to move to Dallas. Prior to the baby shower, we wanted to move to Dallas and we just was like, I feel like Dallas is the wave because when I think of Texas as a whole, I'm like, yeah. I don't want to go to Houston, Texas. Yeah, I don't want to go, you know, because you have to think about raising a family. And so I was just thinking, like, Dallas feels like, you know, the right move is up and coming. Not up and coming, but, like, it has a lot of up and coming um, cities in Dallas. And it just seems like a good and nice, really nice place. And I felt like Texas as a whole is better than Louisiana as far as school-wise and job-wise. Like, it's just, very, you know, better. So it's a good move business-wise and, you know, for home's sake, trying to build a home. And so... I was all game for Dallas, right? I was all game for Dallas. When Chris got aboard and Chris was all game for Dallas, I was just like, it's a goal, you know, because I felt like when, you know, the head of household is uh, on to something or like wanting to do something, it's going to get done. And so, especially the type of person Chris is. And so, when we came back from the hurricane, we had that big hurricane. If y'all don't know, we had a big hurricane um, in um Louisiana and when a hurricane came and we got displaced for about displaced for about a week almost a week and a half probably like two weeks or whatever like that that really took a toll on us and we was just like let's just do it you know we were in Dallas and we was just like let's just do it like let's just say screw everything when we come back if the apartment is damaged or not damaged let's just do it and so that's what we did I agreed to it knowing we had wedding, you know, plans and stuff in order to, for us to get married this year, 2022. I'm getting married October 2nd, 2022. Um, we already knew we were getting married. I hope y'all can hear me while the plane going. But we already knew we was getting married. And when you think of it, like the outside looking in, you would think, let's not plan to move out of state during wedding planning. You know, like that's low-key common sense, right? So... I think that was common sense, but I think we, me and Chris had an overall goal, right, of what we strived for, for this move to make the move make sense. Because yes, it don't make sense to move in the middle of wedding planning. Like who does that? Nobody. But money purposes was one of the reasons we decided to move. So if we move to Dallas, as a woman, I could get a job out there and get paid Fifteen, sixteen dollars an hour. Small jobs in Dallas, you would get paid a lot of money. So just imagine if I actually took the time to get a big job, I would be getting paid really good money in Dallas. You know, rather than coming to Louisiana and getting paid ten dollars an hour, eleven dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour to do, you know, what I'm doing in Dallas. So money wise was one of the main reasons we decided to move during wedding planning. I hated my job and Chris didn't like what the job that he got was offering. So Chris decided, screw it, I'm going back, right? He going back. I was in Dallas for about three months by myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole um, time I was out there, Chris was back at home and he was working because he felt like he didn't have time to miss out on the money. We got a wedding to plan. We got churn to feed. Like we got bills to pay. Like it's the whole nine. And so that's pretty much why you know, I was out there in Dallas by myself, you know, to, you know, be separated, which that was never the plan. But to be separated for that long, you know, Chris wanted us to be back home. And so, and now we are currently back in Louisiana. And now I'm scrambling. It's just a hard pill to swallow, but I am young. I'm excited that I'm young and I'm excited that, you know, life goes on and that I, 
I, I'm not making crackhead decisions at an old age to where like this is a life or death threatening situation and I can't bounce back from it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just thankful for that. I'm hoping that, you know, I get a lot of positive energy and positive feedback from this video and from people in general knowing that I'm back. You know, because I got all of these comments before. I should be able to get all these comments, you know, saying, you know, it's okay, you know. And I want to personally say, you know, to anybody watching that it's okay, you know, to bump your head and mess up, you know, even whatever age, it's okay. So, and before I was destroyed, now I've got over it and I'm deciding to like move forward with life and move forward with, you know, whatever I have going on and just try to make the best of it. So now I'm back trying to settle in. I'm trying to get my makeup back started. I'm trying to just do whatever I can, you know, financially to help and mentally to help myself. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where we've been. Um, and then as far as like, you know, a life update, that's kind of where I've been. I felt, I feel like I've been playing a tug of war of state to state. I was back and forth to, from Texas to Louisiana all last year. Like it was nothing. This time around, I don't even want to travel no more. I just want to sit back and chill and relax, you know, because it's been so much of moving, you know, and moving from apartment to apartment. Like, it's just a lot. So, needless to say, I'm back home. I'm glad I'm back home. I just really want to jump in. Anywho, that's the life update. And we can talk more about, you know, anything. If y'all have any questions and stuff like that, let me know. But I just want to tell y'all where I've been. I've been here stressed <laughs> and trying to get my life together. Um, and then as far as update with the wedding, if you guys were interested, yes, we got, um, a wedding planner. I don't know if I told y'all that, but we got a wedding planner and it is time right now to send out the save the dates and eventually it'll be, it'll be time to send out the actual invitations. So I'm excited about that and I'm just ready for us to finish this wedding planning so I can like see, you know, I'm excited about everything. I found my wedding dress. I vlogged a lot of things, y'all. Let's just say that I vlogged a lot of things. It probably wasn't the best vlogging, and it was probably like snipping and snipping and snipping. But y'all, let me know what y'all want to do and what y'all want to see. Because if y'all want to see it, I'll show y'all the clips that I recorded. I, I recorded Christmas. I recorded Thanksgiving. I recorded me finding my wedding dress. I probably ain't gonna show y'all the actual wedding dress, but I recorded all of this stuff. I just recorded my birthday. You know, I just don't know what y'all want to see. And if it's interesting and when I get to sit down and look at the clips to see if he's even worth it, then, you know, we could go from there. But let me know if that's things y'all want to see, you know, or whatever like that. But um, as far as wedding planning, everything is going smoothly. I'm excited about the idea of it. And I'm just, I'm just excited overall. It's something to look forward to, for sure. So I'm just excited and happy. And then me turning 26 to yesterday, I just feel like I'm in a wow factor of my life feeling like wow like I'm 26 what wow I got a child what wow I'm getting married what you know what I mean so I'm at that point in my life and I'm just trying to soak it all in and like just enjoy the ride because I feel like when I look up I'm gonna be 30 years old what you know what I'm saying like what I don't even feel 26 years old y'all I feel 22 like I feel like I'm an adult but I'm not an adult so that's why I say I feel like I'm 22 and yeah so that's just pretty much my life update i don't know if y'all cared or not but i just wanted to life update y'all and tell y'all like this is what has been going on and um i would love positive energy positive feedback and i just you know wanted to step in and just say you know hey this is where i've been and if anybody could relate you know something relatable it's hard out here when you mess up and when you gotta start over and when you you know need you know whatever else like it's hard out here so that's all this video was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. And if you got any questions, let me know. Cheers to 26. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Comment down below um, what you want to see next. I'm rooting for y'all. I hope y'all rooting for me. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. Because your girl loves it and needs it. And that helps me financially. Y'all be listening to them commercials on the radio and y'all be saying nothing. So listen to my commercials if I got ads on my video. <laughs> and um, interact with me. I love when y'all talk. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side, y'all. Bye. Mwah.